Hello, Sega. I really hate that we have this HD camera now, so now I get to hate, hate you in HD, bro. I know. People can see my glory even better than before. I wouldn't call it glory, bro. I think you're just kind of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care, Sega. Well, anyways, I have something to tell you. What? I have a theory. The last time you had a theory, I got in so much trouble, dude. I know, but it doesn't matter because this one's probably real. Probably. Okay, what's it about? A free four star. Oh, you might be right. No, it's time! Actually, it might happen. Yeah, yeah, it actually might. I know. That's why I'm best. Okay. So, 2.4 is going off uh, pretty crazy on the leak front. There's tons of people dropping mad lad leaks all over. But luckily, this video is not going to contain any leaks, just some theories based on some information. Also, did you guys know there's a giant whirlpool down here that goes to a different area that, you know, oh god, I'm there. And when you make this magical trip to the whirlpool, you are able to go to this crazy cool place. But beyond that, I wanted to talk about something that actually could happen in 2.4 for a free four star as well as some big rewards. All right, so last year, if you didn't know, there was a giant thing for the Lantern Rite Festival. There was a whole cutscene and an entire event regarding the Lantern Rite Festival. If you don't know, this whole event is structured around Chinese New Year, where we're able to see a lot of different fun things happening. The scene is directly from the original Lantern Rite Festival, and it was an incredible event. It was a very majestic event where people thought really fun things happening. Zhao came to the game. There was Ganyu. Lots of fun things happening. So just know that this event is a very cool one. It's actually going to happen on near the half year anniversary for Genshin for the one and a half year anniversary. So it's going to happen near the end of uh, near the start of February through the end of February. So it's going to be a very inclusive event that has lots of rewards and lots of great things for players. It's gonna have events, etc., and should be very, very fun overall. So last year in the Lantern Ride Festival, you know where we got a lot of free rewards. There was, as you can see, tons of Heroits, Mora, Mystic, everything that you could possibly want coming out, and all the rewards that we, we got were really, really strong for many players. We actually got the original thing, which is called Dust of Azoth, which you can now buy in the store. There's an actual, was a new thing that happened on that patch, which allows you to transfer crystals from one typing to another. It also uh, released with the Zhao boss, which is a new boss that they added in, which is the Primo Geo Vishap. In addition to that, they also had these crazy login rewards. If you didn't know, there was a huge login reward event that happened on the Lantern Rite Festival. During this time frame, we actually were able to receive 10 intertwined fates over the course of the Lantern Rite Festival. Now, it may happen again to this way where we get the full rewards because it does line up with Chinese New Year. And since Mihoyo, of course, is a Chinese game, and then it's going to get a big reward on their new year. Now, this is a pretty common practice in gacha games to receive that is 10 intertwined fates or just a free thank you summons for a, a, a ushering in a new year. So I don't see this changing too much and we may get a total of 10 intertwined fates for free. There's also a thing last year where we were able to get white chart, iron or orange chunks and stuff like that and get these plasterite shards, as you can see here, that allowed us to make Zhao lanterns. The Zhao lanterns you then crafted later on and you were able to use them to create more and more stuff and then of course use them to get lots of other resources. It was the introduction of the new tower defense, etc. But you also want to know about how you could get the free four star. Now, the, now in the original... Um, in the original one, you actually had to complete tower defense. And it, you had to complete the tower defense, you did the whole event, and we were able to then choose a four star at the end of this tower defense event. We were, we were able to choose for one of the leeway four stars between Zhangling, Xinyang, Beidou, um, Ningguang, Xinku, as well as Chengyang. There was tons of different characters people were choosing for. People were going for constellations for different characters, etc. And this was a big thing to go for. And we had a like, whole thing where people were choosing which one. There's also a storyline that went along with it, and it was very fun. Mihoyo has also been posting about Ganyu, so a lot of people should be, of course, thinking about a Ganyu rerun coming in 2.4. Of course, we have the new characters, Yunjun as well as Shenha. So both of these characters, if you aren't aware, are actually Liwei region characters. So potentially, we don't know this for sure or any reason whatsoever, but Yunjun could be a character that we could potentially choose for free in 2.4. She is a Liwei four star, so if they decide to give out another free round of four stars during the Lantern Rite Festival, then of course Yunjun 
being a leeway four star has a possibility of being a free character. So that's a very interesting thing. The other character that should probably show up around that time frame, based on the banner history, of course, is going to be the Mad Lad Zhao. Okay. As you can see, last year, Ganyu and Zhao both had their runs in uh, January as well as the start of February. So we can kind of assume that since they're probably going to be a double rerun banner, there's going to be both of those characters again. There's also been some rumors that have been kind of confirmed those kinds of ideas, but of course, we don't know anything. Now, if you didn't know, also, there was a third banner that got thrown in the mix here between Zhao and Hu Tao. It was the Kaching banner. This Kekwing banner basically was inserted in between both of them. They had to do some kind of like bad luck thing as like having something land on like the 13th or something like that or not doing something and doing it in threes. I don't know what it is, but I don't think that's going to happen again until like 2.5. So maybe they won't do that. Maybe they will. I don't know. It's something to do with superstition. But if they're going to be doing another double rerun, of course, the next character that would be likely to show up is Daddy Zhongli. The reason Daddy Zhongli might actually see a resurgence in 2.4 is because in 2.4, he is the Geo Archon and the Archon of Liwei. So, hey, potentially, if he's going to be showing up in the storyline, he could potentially land on like a double banner in that in that time frame. Now, it is not uncommon in the gacha game industry, of course, to see double banners or increased rates or a bunch of different things for rerun banners all happening at the same time during festivals. Now, seeing how the Lantern Rite, of course, is a giant festival, of course, the Lantern Rite Festival, uh, having an increased rate banner or another double banner or another type of banner is a definite possibility. This was also, if you didn't know this, the first ley line overflow that ever happened, what happened in 1.3 around the time of Chinese New Year's. So that's another thing that could come in uh in 1.3 or they could do some kind of triple drop or some other type of mechanic that does to do with increased drop rate on ley lines or potentially other things so there could be some increased resin drop rates in 2.4 we don't know but that would be a time so if you're thinking about saving your fragile resin it might be a good idea to save some fragiles for 2.4 just in case this was also the introduction of the parametric transformer where you're able to take resources that you farm in open world and transfer them into like Mora, Wits, Mystic Enhancement, uh, Talent Books, etc. And this was a great resource to get added in this patch. So potentially there could also be a new gadget being added this time frame that would be really resin efficient for helping you for the weekly. So that could be coming in 2.4 as well. And other QOL systems like the Dust of Azoth could also be coming to the game. And the most recent one we had in the game was actually the Artifact Exchange system. So potentially there could be something coming not in 2.4, but like pat later patches that actually allow you to transfer artifacts to say the Noble Less set or what whatnot and get you transfers over to like Viridescent Venerer and be able to do a lot of different trines and strategies. So that could happen sometime in 2.4, 2.5, we don't know, um, but those types of artifacts are starting to get outdated. I think the most interesting artifact that got outdated nowadays is the Maiden set. And since the Maiden set has become an outdated set, just like the Noblesse that was kind of an outdated damaging set for support characters, where it kind of got power crept by the Emblem set, and we have a new healing set now, we could see Viridus and Venera be put into the artifact exchange at some point, especially since Zhao is getting his rerun there. So this is just a, a hard wide range theory that could happen at that time, just because key wall features did get added. So maybe that's going to be added in the future as well. We don't know. Also, a lot of people have been talking about the major area, the chasm, and this area is probably not going to be coming anytime soon. Um, as you can see, none of this has been added as far as visual effects yet into the game, so we won't be able to see anything into the chasm. But I don't think this is going to happen at least until 2.5 to 2.7, um, which is probably way, way too early in the storyline to even like integrate that. Plus, we also have the integration of Summer Islands that are going to be coming back. If you didn't know, the the Summer Islands last year for 1.6 happened uh, around this region. So potentially we could see some Summer Islands come back in June or so. So that could happen like right before Chasm comes to the game or right after the Chasm comes. So there could be a Summer Island integration before that to come back then have a resurgence of the old islands that came back with like a reset of Golden Archipelago and other things. But that's going to do with this video. My name is Tekka Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, of course, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff, and you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.